on soon here at ringside with my colleague Jesse the Body Ventura. That's right, Gorilla. I'm pumped up. I'm here to call it like it is, as Jesse the Body always does. A tremendous happening right here. You won't find any better action anywhere. Well, I'll tell you what, Gorilla, I'm pumped up. I'm happy to be a part of it. It's great to be back with you. It's my pleasure to be here with you and part of this happening. Unbelievable. Here we go. Time for talk is ended. Absolutely. They're ready. They've trained hard. What a matchup this is going to be, Gorilla Monsoon. Unbelievable ovation as they're hanging off the rafters. Just take a look at the fantastic spillover crowd here for this extravaganza. The World Wrestling Federation outdoing itself and presenting this unbelievable part of wrestling. Holy crap. I'm, I'm so excited, Jess. You can, you can feel the electricity in the air here. You can grab a hold of it. Touch it, cut it. That's right. It's everything I expected it to be, Gino Monsoon. Well, you said that right, Jesse. And this is just an international affair. We're just deluged here by cameramen and newspaper reporters from all over the entire world wanting to cover this event. Boy, it's a happening. Well, this is going to be a classic matchup. You're going to see some tremendous moves in this bout. Speed, agility, knowledge, it's all in there. All the ingredients necessary for a great match. This will separate the men from the boys right here. Well, Gorilla, you can feel the tension right now. This is what it's all come down to. You can cut it with a knife. You can feel the electricity in the air. You're going to see some fine wrestling here. Absolutely. Take a look at the charisma. Take a look at the power pack. Oh, definitely. They're both in great shape. Great shape. I gotta do my normal. Say hi to my four biggest fans in Minneapolis. Terry, Tyrell, Jade, Jeremiah. What are you talking about? I don't know. I never heard you say hello to anybody else before. Well, you're a long way from home, Jeff. Well, halfway across the country. <laughs> Prince is watching at my house. Oh, Prince. He's a big fan, you know. I understood just that uh, your dog was named Prince. Is that, is that correct? No. Oh. You're, you're, you're all full of misinformation, not so. We may see some rule breaking here. Uh, you like to believe all scientific, but you'll see greed come out. I'll, I'll be surprised, Jess. I'll be surprised. Both men have extremely high character. Uh -huh. Uh, tremendous I respect for I each can other. feel the volcano getting ready to erupt. You think life. so? Oh, I can feel at the tension. Give me a break, Jess. How come you don't believe everything I tell you? Because uh, sometimes you're a fountain of misinformation. Never. I'm the man who tells it like it is. Must have had some steam on your lenses. You're worse than Watergate, Monsoon. That point in time. Yeah, you're How are you going to win if you ain't aggressive? You enter something, you go after it. What is this? He's also a sportsman, Jess. A sportsman. Sportsmen are only involved in duck hunting and pheasant hunting. Get away. Not an easy hold to counter, Jess. He certainly could hurt you in a lot of ways. That's oh, yeah, that's smart wrestling. You know, if you can get your body in the way of that referee, you do dirty, damage. Dirty wrestling. Dirty wrestling, smart wrestling. It's winning wrestling, Gorilla. Now, don't you dare tell me you never found nobody. I, I may resemble that remark, Jess. Yeah, I remember you and Jack, Jack Dempsey back in 26. <laughs> Always remember, it ain't how you play the game, it's whether you win or lose. That's not exactly what I heard your motto was, Jess. What did you hear? Well, I, I remember you saying many times you had a shirt made that said, win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. That's true, too. Yeah, I thought that was yours. That's true, too. You resemble that. But like I said, you know, all spare in love and war. Chad going off in this capacity crowd, USA. Wild Bulls. Listen, this is a straight grudge match right here. These two guys just do not like each other. No love lost here. It's going to be a classic confrontation here. You got two veteran wrestlers. They, they, 
these two guys also, Jess, are the type of guys who, if necessary, could wrestle for an hour and a half. Definitely. I'll tell you, these are like two big Mack trucks flying head on. Irresistible force meeting the immovable object. Both of these guys are going to be pulling out all the stops. You can bet on that one. Can you imagine, Jess, what's going through the minds of these two individuals? Gorilla, Hans, how would you like to be that little referee having to try to contain right. these two guys? Well, that's where you use the count, Jess. You don't try to physically step between these guys or you can squash like a grape. I like to take my time, too. It's a psych-out thing, Absolutely. Gorilla Monsoon. It's a psych-out. You get your opponent, you get him upset. Just those little added ledge edges can mean the difference between victory and defeat. Very, very important part of professional wrestling, psychology, and no one knows it any better than my colleague. Very well put, Jesse. Well, it's important the pace of a match. Some guys like a slower pace, other guys like a faster pace. And if you can get your opponent to wrestle at the pace you want to go at, that's to your advantage at all times. You know that as well as well, I do, Gino. My, my key was never play another man's game, Jess. That's right. Well, make him play your game if at all possible. Don't play his, and if you can't get either one, then just wing it. That's right. Seesaw battle going on here, Jess. Definitely a good, good matchup. How quick the momentum can change in professional wrestling as the tide turns, so to speak. If you don't have a basic wrestling knowledge, you can forget about it. That's right, that's right. Unless possibly you're an awesome individual like a King Kong Bundy. Well, I understand that he also has a tremendous and that's amateur That from. makes it doubly bad. Doubly bad. It's like having dynamite with a short fuse. Apparently some damage done to that guy. Uh, uh, tore a hamstring in there, Jeff. Hamstring Brought muscle, or whatever, sure. It happens all the time, plenty of injuries. That's what I talked about. I, I thought it was a stupid move. Well, I, I disagreed with you then, and I disagree with you now. Yeah, Jeff. well, look, and apparently he's injured himself. It happens all the time, Jess. It goes with the territory. I understand somebody's in jeopardy of you losing their yacht, Jess. Is that correct? Ooh. No, one of your billionaire friends, I don't know. Not Marv. Oh, no. I didn't say it. Did I? Oh, no. I know you like to rub elbows with those guys, Jeff. No, 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 no. They like to rub elbows oh. with me. Sorry. Find out all the Hollywood gossip. Sure. I was on the plane the other day with Farrah Fawcett. Sure. Couldn't keep her away from me. Had to call the stewardesses for help. Quick use. Certainly. Ryan O'Neill saw the whole thing. I doubt it. Had a chance to see Mr. Perfect's father, Larry the Axe, hitting. Still got a 24-inch neck. He said he had to lose 20 pounds. I said, get your neck down to 18, you'll lose it. Oh, one of the big fans, Jess, of the WWF. Yep, Sugar Ray and Leonard. I guess you'd call him the undisputed middleweight champ now, right? I dispute it, though, because I think Marvin Hagler won. Well, you have enough undisputed things to claim, Jess. Bob Euchre was here last year. What a guy. Well, I won't talk so good about Bob Euchre. To me, he ain't such a great guy. How about Vanna White, then? Well, I keep hush on Vanna. Oh, Bobby, welcome! Hey. All right! Hey, this is it, man! This is the first time I ever had an option renewed. Second year for me, Gorilla. Glad to have you back, Bobby. Well, I guess it's okay. You know, like they said, they renewed your contract. Like you said, you never got that in baseball, Euchre. One year with each team there. Hey, hey. Come on. I'm looking forward to it, man. Good to be back with you and you. I'm going to have trouble, I can tell, here City between hey, the youth and the body. I don't think Vanda White has to worry about getting chased around by Lucy. Neither one. She's having a good time eluding Mr. Baseball. Oh, she's definitely here, you. Yeah, I'm supposed to be here. Oh, the main reason you're being here. That's your main reason for yeah, being here, yeah. Mr. Anna White? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm supposed to meet her here someplace. Well, you, do, you, do you have any idea that she's in love with me? Uh, I, I saw something about that in some tablet. I bet, no, that's not her. It was, uh, in fact, the National Examiner, you. Is I'm that where it was? Page, yes. She wouldn't come here unless she got a date from me. 
and I was very upset about that. Jack Tunney never asked me. Yeah. I'm sure I'm Woo. sure you're aware, you that the body is uh, going to be behind the broadcast to move this ball for baseball. Yes, I know that. I heard all about it. Well, I'll tell you what, you, you'll never see nothing like this in baseball, will you? Ah, this looks like the final day of cut-down day in spring training to me. <laughs> Boy, Dr. Frank Joe would have a picnic at this thing. Ooh. Hey, Euchre, you know something? Yeah, what? With your lifetime batting average of 200, that means with every swing, you could only hit one guy out of five. The only thing, if I ever had a good year, it would mess me all up now, you know? Woo! That's why I never wanted to be an MVP, just for reasons like that. Good example. That's why you hit 200, huh? Well, keep you out of that running. Well, you know, you, if Anna has good taste, you know she's less filling now. Yeah, wait, yeah, I'm very familiar with that. Will you do stop? <laughs> you know, that's like kind of like talking to the third base coach before you lay down the butt, you You're familiar with that. Uh, but then again, in your case, you, you got to make contact with the ball. And most of my third base conversations came from the dugout. Well, you know, when money's involved, there ain't no friends. You, you would know about that, wouldn't you, big boy? Definitely. Well, guys, uh, hey, look, it's really been nice, really been nice being up here with you. I told you earlier. You're bailing out already? Yeah, I'm bailing out, man. I'm here to see Vanna. She's someplace in this arena looking for me, and we missed connections when I came in here to the announce booth. Vanna, if you're listening oh. here on closed circuit, I'm on my way, darling. Hang on wherever you are, and security, please be careful with her. Vanna, I'm on my way. You can you after her bowels? No, 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 no. Just a letter here and there. Oh. Well, I'll see you guys. You bailing out of the broadcast position, heading, uh, going out to try to find Vanna. You know what the funny thing is, Varela? I know right where she's at, but I just can't say my room number over the air. Oh, come on. Please. What? Well, she didn't deny that article that was in the examiner yet. Well, neither did I. No, I guess not. Well past 10 minutes already. I bet you on these guys' bodies it feels like 45 minutes right now. Tell me, Gorilla, what was your biggest weight you wrestled at? 440. 440. What the heck did you eat when you Super weighed 440? Just about it. I know you were on a seafood diet, right? Yeah. You ate everything you saw. <laughs> You know, this match could end up who's got the most endurance at five minutes. Neither one of them is going to have anything left. I'm, I'm afraid I have to agree with you, Jess. Although when I was at my heaviest at 440, I could go an hour out there, Jess. This match has gone longer than I expected it to go, Jess. Really? Absolutely. I expected they would come out here and in the first couple of minutes let it all hang out and see what happens. As old Yogi says, Gorilla, it ain't over till it's over. That's right. And there ain't no point system in the pros. Absolutely not. I can't even hear you, Gorilla, hardly. That may be a blessing in disguise. Yeah, that could be. For me. He's fighting him, Gorilla. Could you tell that from this vantage point? You're darn right I could. I don't have Coke bottle glasses on. No, neither do I. I got 20-20 hearing on, so clean out your ears. Well, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to understand. Well, that's a cheap shot, Gorilla. I thought it was uh, rather exciting and rather innovative. Get his attention right away. Make him burn up some more energy. I don't think I'd want this guy's attention. Mr. Oh. Mr. Moves. I, I would have left him daydreaming. You think so? Hey. He's been there before. He knows what it's all about. You're not going to psych him out either, Jess. He's as dirty as they get, Gorilla. I, think, I don't think that's the case at all. But nevertheless, Jess, you don't settle anything out there in the middle of a match. You know that, and I know that. It's an unwritten law in the world of professional wrestling. You've got problems. You settle them outside the ring, not right. inside. Yeah, but Gorilla, remember something. Laws are made to be broken. That's yeah. another Jesse proverb. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm here to hear that. You know, the wolf climbing the hill is always hungrier than the one that's on top. Even after you double-cross somebody. 
That gives you all the more reason. Everything is history up till now. This is a happening. This is what's going on. You know, playing devil's advocate a little, Gorilla. You call it whatever way you see it. I always do. Yeah, I'm the only announcer that does. You seem to soften him up a little bit with that last one, though. You might have caught him on the bridge of the nose. You know what kind of pain that can generate. Now, how can you tell? I can tell from my vantage point. With those Coke bottle glasses you Please. wear, you uh, could tell. Yes. Uh, you know, I always say that. Sometimes the little things are the devastating things. A good old thumb to the eye. A disgusting type move. Can you blame him? No. That's skill wrestling, Gorilla. That's cheating, my love. It's skill. It ain't cheating, Gorilla, unless you get caught. You get caught. I understand. Those are your rules, That's the American way, the American rules. Well, it just makes me glad I retired, yes. Makes me glad you retired, too. Well, a lot of guys were glad when I retired. You can't win fair, Chief. Yeah, that's your motto. Win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. You know, Gorilla, that's how all the great fortunes were made. You think so? Certainly. Same thing goes at the blackjack table, Chief. Oh. This is unfair. This is not right. Oh, this is unfair, but earlier, that was all fair, right, Gorilla? You're cool with that. Oh, you, that's right, you didn't see any of that. You were too busy stuffing another hot dog now. I was too busy trying to digest some of the food that, that you've been laying on me. Did you, ever, did you ever eat one of Chico's enchiladas, Gorilla? No, no. Oh. You're not normal for a week. Well, I, I like that kind of food, Jess, but it doesn't like me. You know, let me ask you something, Gorilla. You look like you ate a whole pumpkin pie Will today. You stop. I can't believe You're it. You're just jealous because you didn't get it. Whipped cream and all, I'll bet, huh? I'm surprised that the uh, lack of output... Well, maybe they... I don't know. Are they in awe? Could be. Yeah, it happens. Right. Happened to me in Madison Square Garden, I'll tell you that. Yeah, from what I heard, it happened on more than one occasion. Oh, well, the word submit is not in their vocabulary. Gorilla, you can beat anybody with a submission hold if you get it on right. I don't care who you are. Come on, you ought to know that. I know the determination. Hey, you can have all the determination you want. Ever heard the story of David and Goliath? Yeah, he used a foreign object, too. Well, come on, Gorilla, quit playing such favorites out here. Announcing. If the shoe fits, put it on. That's what I say. I'm right? starting. You know, I used to like broadcasting with you. You're getting worse than McMahon. I am. Well, you know, the guy's got a million dollar body and a ten cent brain. Why don't you tell him that face to face? Chris? I don't have to. I'm way up here with you, Gorilla. Sorry. You're safe here, right? You like to be in the broadcast position, as opposed to being down there in the ring. What are you talking about? I've been out two years. I could go down there right now. Well, I'd buy a ticket to see that. Let's be realistic. You're out there in Hollywood. I'm all over the country. Gorilla. I have eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, Stooges in there. Stooges? Don't ask me, Gorilla. Well, you traveled all over the world. That right? I have. You're a heyday? Sure you went what what is this in my heyday stuff? Well, I'm, I'm going way back now, just to when you were a member of the SEALs. It was only about five years ago, oh. I think. Five years ago? You had to go all around your ways, Jess. You know what it's like. I like it because you know me, Gorilla. I've always been one to enjoy colorful things. You certainly have. You just get in there with whoever it is. I used to. Well, yeah, you used to complain a lot. I remember that. And I also got a lot of experience in tag team wrestling. I know that. The Honky Tonk Man, he held the title longer than anybody. Claimed to be the greatest intercontinental champion of all 